up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Tunes, and welcome back to another FIFA 21 Real Madrid career mode. You seem to be liking it so far, guys, and you guys have given me a couple of names to go after, and I've already searched them up, and we got them in the transfer hub to go after, and we're going to make some moves. You guys came up with one really, really good name uh, that I didn't even think about going after for the replacement of Casemiro, because I said I didn't want to replace Casemiro, and uh, I was going to go after Conte, but... Kimmage is right up there, 88 year, 88 rated, 25 years old, uh, that will do really, really well. And again, can play two different positions, right? So right back or CDM. We're going to get him for that CDM role, uh, but I think it would be pretty smart to go after him. And I think that's exactly what we're going to try to do. What we are going to do, guys, he is quite expensive at 116. I'm going to go straight in and see if maybe we can just do a straight swap. Casemiro for Kimmage. I don't really want to waste money. We do have the offer um, on, uh, let me go ahead and show you here. We do have the offer here on uh, Casemiro. The problem is it's going to go to Barca. We could potentially get 180 million for him, which, you know, it's a lot of money. So if we can't do the straight up swap, you know, his value is at 102. And then for who I'm going after Kimmage, uh, they're saying about 116. You know what I'm saying? We could potentially, but 200 and I'm not paying that much. But we're going to approach to buy and see if we can do a straight up swap. If they're talking like crazy money with the swap, like if it's a 20 mil or something, I'm cool. But more than that, I don't know if I would be willing to do that because I can just get the money for Casemiro and then just go pick somebody up. Conte is still, of course, on, uh, you know, it's still an option for us um, that I would like to go after. But I think Kimmage just being younger already 88 overall hopefully still has potential to grow uh would be kind of cool let's go ahead and um see here i want to give casemiro straight up for them and see what they say that's all i want to do is just straight up swap player for player see what they say uh kimmage again a little bit faster also younger hopefully has potential to grow i don't know how much growth we'll get out of him but hopefully some type of growth um and they they literally straight up said no no we're gonna have to try that again we're going to have to try something else again. They said straight up, no player for player. I wonder if they would do it with Conte. I wonder if they would do it for Conte. What we're going to do, what we're going to do, because I don't want to give up on Kimmage. I don't want to give up on Kimmage. Because so what I might do is give it a couple of days. Let's go ahead and play or sim this match here, right? The, the, these cups here don't matter. What matters for us and what's more important for us is to uh, get these transfers going here. Let's go ahead and sim this match here and hopefully they have a really strong team as well hopefully we can make some moves right there are some other players that i want to go after at byron as well but we'll have to see what we're going to do here because there's one player in particular that i would love to bring um to to real before the end and i don't want to waste too much money before going after that player um and we'll see because we're going to need a lot of money to grab him and we'll see what we could do here all right, guys, uh, we are in the white. They are in the black, and we'll see how this is going to turn out here and hopefully uh, an easy win. Uh, I don't know if easy win, but hopefully a win here. Again, we have Ronaldo and Benzema in. I'd rather Ronaldo be playing the striker position, but it is what it is. For right now, I'm still set up in a 4-3-3, which eventually we will change uh, probably into like a 4-4-2 or maybe a 4-1-2-1-2, depending on how I feel. Uh, simming wise 442 is probably the best but i do definitely want to get two strikers playing and i might actually do that in the next match Should probably have done that beforehand we might even do that at halftime we're gonna let things go the way it is and then we'll make our changes around halftime maybe benzema and also oh things are looking good right here oh bang bang hazard gets himself a goal uh hazard from the right wing position is getting himself a goal and that means that we can then play hazard out wide put benzema and also ronaldo as striker in a 442 we might do that at halftime we're up by one right now, guys, and hopefully uh, we get this win here. We did end up getting a draw already uh, and also a win uh, in this competition. So not doing the best, but uh, started off pretty well here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Courtois saved us. Courtois saved us. Can Ronaldo get there? He does. He's still number 16, guys. We'll change that once we've bought everybody up, and then we'll, we'll get the numbers set up properly here. Uh, almost halftime here. Uh, had a couple of chances. Let's go ahead and take a look at stats here. More possession for us, more shots, more chances for us, but not really uh, scoring these. And they've also had two shots and a chance as well. So we got to be very, very careful here. 
on on uh what we're gonna do don't mess this up all right it's gonna be half time here we're gonna go ahead team management guys we're gonna switch this to a 442 i think it's just gonna be easier for us right that means everybody can play ronaldo striker benzema striker valverde is gonna go ahead and play um Modric will stay in we will go ahead and take out casemiro for rodrigo and yeah everything else you know what we're also gonna place it bring in um uh, Nacho. Some of you guys were also saying, hey, get rid of your other right back and keep Nacho just as a replacement right back. Um, so that could be a thing for us as well. But 442, a lot of players out of position. We'll fix that stuff once we know exactly what the team is going to look like. But this is going to be a little bit better for us, at least in my opinion. We're going to go ahead and jump right back into this and see uh, here what Ronaldo and Benzema could do as strikers. Again, um, more attackers in this formation, in my opinion maybe less you know in the midfield but hopefully if we can get ourselves a Kimmich or a Conte uh Casemiro's decent but just you know having Valverde and then somebody new and I have like I really ugh, I need to replace uh Casemiro I need to replace Casemiro ASAP but I have an idea for the midfield for a replacement for Modric as well. We'll have to see how things are going to turn out here maybe we'll even play a 4-2-3-1 just depends on what we do here anyway guys going into the second half here um they're putting on the pressure here so hopefully uh this 442 is gonna help us out here going against the four three threes with the four four two is always pretty bad portois does well there and they're still on the attack here we can't get the ball out it seems like ronaldo just chilling waiting for the ball we get it out wide to hazard ronaldo ooh, almost another goal there we get ourselves a corner Will Ronaldo be able to get to it in the air? And he does not. Counter attacking from them has been really, really good. They've had a lot of chances. They get themselves a corner here. We've had a lot of shots. We're just not really finishing those chances that we do have. And they're getting a bunch of corners here. Don't know if going into a 4-4-2 was smart, uh, but we'll see what's going to happen here with our side. Ronaldo passes that in. And again, Ronaldo's still with it. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, there it is, boys. Valverde gets himself a goal here in the 80th minute making it 2-0 a little bit more comfortable here we are most likely going to get these three points i don't think they'll score i don't think they'll score two goals uh before the half here 10 minutes left in the game and we'll see what happens uh but uh in the 4-4-2 did well possession has definitely switched once we switch formations here but still uh, creating a lot of chances scoring a lot of goals and that's good right now but we definitely want better and and I, I know where, where we're weak at and we need to fix ASAP. All right, guys, so there it is. Two minutes in injury time there and we end up winning it. Uh, a lot of chances, just not a lot of goals. We need to be definitely scoring a lot more goals here and we will continue. So we're not going to be going after a CDM. Um, we're not going to be going after a CDM in this episode and I don't know if they're going to retract that, uh, that offer on Casemiro. We get 3 million here added, uh, which is fantastic. We get an offer on... Oh, we get offers. We, I didn't even realize. Oh, yeah. We already had this negotiating. Okay, 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 okay. We're still waiting back to see um, the, the, if the negotiation is going to go through here and if uh, the uh, delegation of the price that we're going for Vasquez is working. I don't want to answer this yet because I don't really want Casemiro to go to Barca, but that's still definitely an option uh, for us uh, in the next couple of uh, days coming into this career run. Hopefully, they don't retract that. Um, we got a friendly coming up here, office as well, and now we have some stuff we have to deal with. Hopefully, I don't even, I didn't even read it, I don't care. But, uh, Marcelo did accept, and he's going, and we're getting 32 million added to the budget. All right, guys, um, there is another thing that I definitely want to try here. Um, money wise, we don't really have very much money. Uh, for what I want to try, but I want to try something. All right, guys, what we're going to try to do is something probably some would say stupid, but I want Mbappe. I want Mbappe and I want Mbappe bad. The thing is, when I say stupid, I think it's going to be good. But what I'm going to do is huh, I'm going to do something that's going to be a little bit crazy, okay? What I'm thinking about doing is i wonder if i can go let me go to the squad hub real quick two things that i'm thinking about doing i'm thinking about offering up benzema which is older and then with money for mbappe or i'm thinking even though they have neymar where's my man at 
I'm thinking about giving up Hazard for him with money. That's what I'm thinking about doing. I don't know how much. I'm going to add him onto the list. I don't know how much he's actually market value is but that's what i'm thinking i was hoping they would show his market value here i guess it didn't we're gonna go into this negotiation Oof, it's gonna be tough mbappe coming would definitely strengthen a lot of things plus i want benzema gone uh so ronaldo uh mbappe and then we have the younger guys around that we can grow or even bring in some other wing players right that's what i'm thinking so let's go ahead go to the transfer hub and go after Mbappe his value is 210 right now uh, about 260 is what they're uh, they're saying 262 let's go ahead and approach to buy and we'll see if if I think Benzema is probably a better option right because just the positions with them having Neymar I don't think they're going to want Hazard but I really really want Mbappe and I want to do this early enough where if things don't work out we can then try again right so let's go ahead and uh, do a player swap here. I want to give them a winger and I want to give them hazard. His value is only at 101, okay? I also am going to try and give them 110 plus hazard to see if that would actually, you know what? Um, hold on, can I change? Can I change this? Or is that going to add another player there? Because maybe I should have tried Benzema instead. Should we try Benzema in 110 mil? 110 mil, that would put it at 200,000. They're still getting a striker instead of getting rid of Hazard. Because Mbappe, Hazard, and also Ronaldo would be kind of sick. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's try this. Let's also offer a fee of a hundred. Let's do a hundred and fifty. A hundred and fifty plus Benzema. A hundred and fifty plus Benzema. That's going to take us down to six mil. But Casemiro to sell, right? Casemiro to sell. Modric to sell. Tony Kroos to sell. We have a lot of players to sell. That would come out to almost, or 300, I'm, I'm lying, 200 and something million, right? Close to 250 million. I feel like this is a move. We can also add a clause of, let's say, 13% and see what they say. Let's go ahead and submit the offer and just see. Is it too much money for Mbappe? I don't think so. He's 21 years old. But I don't know if they'll take the deal or if they're just going to walk out. But Benzema getting older, Mbappe younger. We all know Real Madrid won Mbappe. They say no to this. No sales clause, but they want 200. Um, whew, that's kind of crazy. Let me go ahead and counter this. Propose a new fee. And what if we... What if we do... Whew, this is going to put us with no money. Right? This is going to put us with no money. What if we do 195? Will that give us money to negotiate? That would give us only 700 uh, on, on wages. We're going to have to get rid of other people. Casemiro might have to go. But I feel like that's a fair deal. And I can still sell Hazard. Honestly. I could still sell Hazard or even trade Hazard for somebody else. Maybe going after Mbappe this early wasn't smart. I should have made all my other moves. But 195, bro, I think that's... Ah, come on, man. Come on, dude. Please take this. $220. That will leave us with only 234 on wages. We won't have enough. Let's counter one more time. Let's counter one more time. And let's do 105. Or 205, excuse me. Is that going to be enough to pay his wages? We got we to gotta make sure if they say yes, we can do this. That's going to be almost 300 mil for him. 
maybe I should have gone in with Hazard, but it's going to be a little bit crazy here, and we'll see what they say. Please. Oh, they accepted. They accepted. They accepted. We're bringing in Bobby, but we're broke. I don't know if we can negotiate this. I'm not going to lie to you. I have no money. I have no money. Ooh, I have no money. What do we do? What do we do? Hold on. Let's go to the office. Oh, no. We have no money. We're, can we go negative? I don't know if you can go negative. I've never gone negative in a career mode before. I've never done it. This is crazy. Let's negotiate and see what happens. Let's negotiate, see what happens. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared because I don't know if I have the money. They're going to also want a bonus and we're not going to have money for a bonus. All right. He's making 180 right now. All right. He's going to be crucial for us. All right. Five years, 100% accept. They want a release clause. I'll accept the release clause if you actually want one. All right. Two million on bonus. I don't know if financially we're going to be able to do this. I don't mind paying these wages. Uh, remove the bonus. Um, I'm okay with giving them a bonus, but I don't know if we have the money for it. <laughs> I don't know if we have the money for it. And our wage budget. <sighs> I'm going to submit and hopefully it works, but I don't know. I don't know if we got him or not. The problem is now we're broke, but we have deals happening. I might have to say yes to this. I might have to say yes to this because I definitely want to bring in other CDMs. <sighs> That's crazy. Kimmich said, no, I really wanted this swap deal to work. I should have gave that plus 20 mil. We're going to try this again. We're going to try Casemiro plus like 20 mil. Um... One more again. We have him here now. Guys, we have him here. We're legit broke. Like, we got no monies right now. We still have a little bit. We still have a little bit. <laughs> we still have a little bit. The other thing that we could do as well. The other thing that we could do as well is just play Mbappe out wide. We could do that. Let's go ahead and fix this. I don't know what formation I actually want to play. I truly don't know what I want to play. But a 4-2-3-1. Let's see what we could set up here. Modric as Cam. I wouldn't want Modric as a Cam. To be fair, I would love to have like an Mbappe. Nope, this is not going to work. It's going to have to be a 4-4-2. A 4-4-2 flat. Okay. And I know these are right wings right now, but Valverde would play for Kimmage. We would then have a CDM, and that means that Tony Kroos and also Modric have to go to give space for our team, right? Like that, this would be ideal for us right here. Um, you see what I'm saying? <sighs> Crazy. We need so many people to sell, but we got Mbappe, boys. We got him, but we're broke until we sell. Until we sell. We're going to go ahead and save this. Um, <laughs> we're playing. Whew, uh, I'm playing with a lot of. Uh, I've never I've never done this. I've never I've never gone this. Um, what's the word that I'm looking for here? I've never gone this low. On the transfer, but we have a lot of players that. You know what, man? The 4-2-3-1 could also work because we could play him. We could play him as Cam. Right? We could play him as a Kim. And then keep... But the problem is, like, I want Mbappe at striker. Like, I like the way this is set up, but I feel like we have a lot of cams right now that we need to get rid of. Right? Where the hell is Jovic at? Oh, I got Jovic here. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. So th that's that. Mendy is good. I want to replace God Vahal. I would love to get a Kimmage or a Conte for Casemiro. And then, to be fair, maybe, uh, like, update the wings a bit. Um, 
like sell hazard bring in somebody else i mean we could also keep hazard right we could also keep hazard and still make moves because we have a lot of players that we're going to end up getting rid of here guys like a lot of players and as you guys said we could potentially put him up and just keep nachu um we could also keep nachu so i'm going to save this for now let's go ahead real quick take a look at two things i want to look at squad hub and i do definitely want to grab this right back here because you guys were like you know keep nachu get rid of the other one a, a lot of you guys are telling me also keep a sense you he's going to be great has potential but i don't really care for a sense you i don't like him as a player honestly um i don't really care um about a sense you so a sense you leaving wouldn't be a bad thing in my opinion keeping hazard hazard in bape a 4-3-3 attacking probably is the move for us, honestly. Probably is the move, but I feel like it's a waste with Ronaldo and also Mbappe, right? But what I want to do here is... Where the hell is the right back? Did I pass him already? I think I did. Oof, was it crazy for me to go after Mbappe? Crazy is where it's at, though, man. Crazy moves is where it's at, and that's the move... That, where the hell is the right back at? There he... No, God of a Hall. Where's the other kid? Right here. All right, I'm going to put him up as well, see what kind of offers we can get. Development real quick on Mbappe, guys, which honestly, I don't think I need to touch Mbappe at all. Um, but let's take a look at his development plans and see. I wish I could get his wick foot a little bit better. He's going to take 54 weeks for that. 23 weeks. He's also a high-low mobile striker. This will work his weak foot. This will only take 23 weeks. We're going to put him as a complete striker and get, and get him to, uh, to develop into a 91 in 23 weeks get that weak foot up to a five he'll be a five five um and then we'll go back to balance afterwards so development on him now taken care of everybody else we still have a couple of weeks before uh anything happens here we're gonna go ahead here guys semi-finals uh we sim you know what i'm gonna play the first half i'm gonna play the first half and then we'll we'll sim the second half um but we're gonna go ahead and, and get our debut game here with my man mbappe Wanted to go after Kimmich in this episode. That was the plan that failed. Ended up going after Mbappe. I don't know how it's going to work out, but let's see what happens. All right, guys. So there it is. Mbappe is at Real Madrid with, I guess, Idol Ronaldo, which is crazy to think about. But these two are now going to be playing on the same team in the semifinals of this Asian Cup, which 13 million will be coming in from that, plus other things that we're going to do, guys. We're going to be moving a lot of pieces. Guys, let me know down below what right back we should go after um and what other players you think would be sick to come even maybe fixing the right wing i know we haven't bought any can play there it's cool that we have players that can play right and left but we also want to bring in some other players in that midfield and get rid of some of the players that we have let's see what we can do here and hopefully we can get this win again we'll sim the second half and uh see what we can do here in the first we got mendy making the run here back into hazard into ronaldo into it back into him bang there it is good passing here 40 minutes in and ronaldo gets one everybody involved in that play there boys and Mbappe gets himself an assist and ronaldo gets himself the goal that's what you like to see here on the debut for Mbappe. good passing there beautifully done great finish and uh our strikers are pretty good everything else right now is almost uh Need some changes, boys. Uh, they're exhausted in this first half of the semifinals of this cup. Ooh, Hazard right here in injury time. Come on. I need somebody to get in the box. Boom, Mbappe. Let's get it. Mbappe gets an assist and a goal on his debut. And you know exactly what we're doing at halftime, guys. We're going <laughs> to make some changes. Uh, we're going to make some changes because uh, uh, Valverde is, uh, is exhausted. We'll bring him out. Um, and, uh, and I think we got this and we'll sim this, this, uh, second half basically. And hopefully, uh, the score line stays the same and we get through to the final of this, uh, preseason cup, uh, which that 13 million, I think it is, is definitely needed as of right now. Two big signings in the first two episodes of this guys. Uh, I, I think it's been great, honestly, uh, at least in, in my point of view, um, we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, uh, do I want Odegaard or do I want Tony? Um, yeah, we'll play Odegaard. We haven't played him. I'm also going to go ahead and bring in Ether because uh, Varane is pretty tired. Um, and you know what? We'll rest Ronaldo as well, I think. We'll do this. Give a little bit of guys playing time. Make sure that their sharpness stays up and they're playing because uh, maybe we get some offers before. Oh, no, that was the wrong thing. 
I didn't want to do that. Jump to sim is what I wanted to do. And we'll sim the rest of this game and see what happens. Again, uh, when I was playing, we did really, really well. Uh, whatever happens, happens now. There's nothing I can do about it. And that's going to be out for a throw. And again, guys, we are in the white. They are in the blue. Oh, my God. They are in the blue. And hopefully, Ether is going to do fine back there for us. Oh, that's a that's good. That's good. That's good. I mean, he might be off, to be fair. No, he wasn't. Hazard's still doing his thing. Good passing here. Trying to find space. That's really good. Oh, no. That's really good stuff there that ended up breaking down. Guys, let's go ahead and take a look here. Mbappe is number 34. Mbappe gets another goal here. We left him on because of his debut goal, uh, his debut game. Um, gets two goals here and assists. 10.0 from him. We're going to change his number as well. I don't know what number to give him. I'm going to give Ronaldo the seven. I don't know what to give uh, Mbappe. Maybe we'll give him a number nine. Who knows? Um, but numbers will be fixed and done on and all that good stuff once uh, uh again once uh we uh we we buy everybody and sell everybody that we're going to get rid of right because then we can throw numbers around and work things out like that but either way guys uh 68 minutes in uh and real is doing really really good here uh mbappe impressing of course uh but to be expected this team is already huge to be fair i think we could do a really really good season if we just get a couple of players and especially the fact that we could also keep hazard right we can make hazard left uh, mid playing a 442 we also still have hazard you know what i mean which to be fair i don't know if i should get rid of or not we'll have to see let me let me know down below should we get rid of hazard and bring in somebody else or keep it mbappe hazard Ronaldo and maybe think about getting a left wing and have these backups in uh Rodrigo and also in um in Rodrigo and in Vinicius we'll have to see here guys games going pretty well here as you guys can see um I, I think we're moving on to the finals here uh, honestly uh I think we've 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 earned it here in this match um can we get another goal here Hazard good passing Mendy with it 30, 34. The fact that I'm seeing 34 on Mbappe is kind of crazy. And there it is, guys. We end up winning that game here. Uh, as you can see, a lot of shots, a lot of chances. They only had one chance, one shot. We end up spanking them. we moving on in this cup. And again, really, really strong team. We're going up against Bayern again. I do want Kimmich. Kimmich would be fantastic for the team, I think. Um, and it's something we have to think about uh, going forward. We do get a transfer offer on Carvajal for 69 from Aleti. 69 let's see what his what his value is his value is six we can they are saying that i can get for a 20 he's 28 years old to be fair he doesn't really have to go so what i might do is try to get don't sell for less than you know what we're gonna do here guys like, I would like to bring in somebody younger that has more potential to grow because I don't think God of Ahal really has too much potential to grow at 28 years old. But let's let's delegate this. And we're going to go 79. What was it? 115. We're going to go 79. Don't sell for less than 79. And we're going to try 114 million. If we can get 114 million for God of Ahal, we can go get any choice of right back, in my opinion. So, delegate this here. They're offering... All right, we're, we're going to edit this, and it's going to be 79. And then uh, we'll keep it as much as they say there. 115. If you want him, pay. If not, I don't care. Keeping him or him going doesn't really matter. He's still young. I just would like to bring in a younger guy if possible. Now, Barca's still going after Casemiro. Um, I kind of want to let him go because the money that we get from him, we can just go pay uh, uh, for a CDM. But again, we could still go after Conte. You guys let me know down below. Uh, what we should do here, uh, go ahead and quick sim these and sim up to this point just to see if we get any other offers before the final uh, here against the uh, final, of course, in this friendly. Modric, they want Luka for 42. Are they crazy? 42. Only 40. I mean, he's 34 years old. That doesn't seem like a lot of money. I don't know if I should do that. I'm going to leave that up to you guys, guys. You, they've already retracted their offer here for Casemiro, which I'm okay with. Uh, I like, you know, I wish somebody would come and pay the 210 just to like, if they come and pay the 210 and take them, that would be great. This here, we haven't heard anything back yet from, uh, from uh, Lucas. 
Should we let him go to Man City for 40 for this price or try to get more? You guys let me know down below. I'm a little bit iffy. You know, I'm a little bit iffy on that. I don't know if I actually want that to happen. My only problem is here that I think because I said no to Casemiro, they might, uh, Barca might be trying to go after Kimmich. They might be trying to go after Kimmich and we need to stop that by either buying Kimmich or getting somebody better than Kimmich. And I don't know who's better than Kimmich. Um, it looks like uh, PSG went to go pick up Grimaldo from Benfica, which is sick. Um, but either way, guys, we're going to leave it here for today. You guys let me know down below. Crazy move, good move on getting Mbappe to the team. Yes or no? Ugh, team is crazy. What other players should we bring? Should we sell Hazard or keep them? And what should we do? Conte, Casemiro, and the Carvajal situation. Do we let Carvajal go? Replace Carvajal? And who should we get? Um, who else do you think would be good here, guys? What else do you think we should do? Do we let uh, Modric go to Man City for only 46? Or do we just hold on to him and have him as a rotation player? But he's going to get mad because he's not going to get a lot of playing time with me. Um, we'll have to see. You guys let me know down below either way man hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please drop a like if you're new to the channel and you enjoy fifa make sure to subscribe with notification on and as always guys thank you guys so much for all the support and i will see you guys in the next one deuces baby